You, 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 you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to In the Booth. Booth I am your elephant. boy, Messenger, Booth. a.k.a. Kaiser. A.k.a. Uh, Eric and whatever. A.k.a. Eric, uh, <laughs> Slim, all that. Ramona Jones in the house. It's Pass Out and Rich in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the booth with an F. In the booth with an F. Yeah. In the booth. Hey. Yeah. You know what it is when we in the Yeah. 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 Have a good weekend. Well, I did. So I yeah, hope you had yeah, a restful, yeah. fun, safe weekend. Thank you guys for joining us today. Please like, share, and subscribe to the show on Facebook, YouTube, and all podcast platforms, including but not limited to Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Yep, yep, yep. And if you want to sponsor or advertise on the show, hit us up at the email in the booth pod at gmail. Dot com. We've got some big sponsors today. Yeah, we have that. Chewy Granola Bars. They are yep. sponsoring us this morning, as well as oh, we, we want to thank... Yes, the aqua. Water, yes. Thank God for Henry County um, School System for sponsoring glue. We always need a good adhesive. Elmer's. Always, Elmer's. As well as paint for those nicks that you might have somewhere, yep. somewhere. And Glade, because sometimes it be stained. So thank yep. you, and we sponsors. Also, <laughs> yes, thank sponsored you. Sponsored by my Falcons uh, that mm. we're praying for. I got Amen. them over here on the prayer table. Oh, Lord. So that, <laughs> That's the prayer uh, table? Yeah, that's the prayer table over here. Oh, okay. I'm praying for my birds, you know. Yeah. We're going through a tough time right now. Are we? Really? But, but, but uh, tough times don't last. Tough people do. It don't last so, always. Yeah, Joy yeah, comes troubles don't morning. last so always. Glad. Yes, I'm so glad. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Trouble don't last. Oh, yeah. So oh. we're praying for the trouble to see weeping may endure. Come on here for a night, but but playoffs come next season. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. In yeah. the name of Jesus, yes. we're not oh, taking this God. year. We're yeah. gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We need to take yes. one more year. One more after this year. No, I think this year could be the year. The Falcons? We yes, I'm believing no, God. Can I step out on faith? Can no, I we, we step take out one. On faith? We need to take one more. We need two takes. We've taken ten. Look, can we? <clears throat> we need to take two more. Okay. Oh, we boy. gonna be? I don't want to be in that that that. I don't like. I don't like that mid. That mid. I don't like that. Well, you just. You ain't too good, but you ain't too bad. You don't make the playoffs. You're always right outside the wild card. Yeah. I don't want to be that team. Like the just pers- take, get it over with, so we can get to the good stuff. That's what I want. Well, you don't want a participation trophy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tank, let's get to the good. Get this over with. Let's get the bad stuff over with. And so let's get to the good times. we can't go nine and nine. I mean, you know, just halfway good, halfway nah, bad. No, no, no. I don't like me. I don't like me. <laughs> okay. I don't like. Amen. Yeah, I want to be good. And I'll take bad to get to the good. I just don't want to be me forever. I don't like know Dallas. About that. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna bring Dallas in. No, this. I'm just saying though. No, no. You are, as a as a Dallas fan, you always thought Dallas was gonna turn the corner, and they never really did. You always thought when it's come to Dallas. Can y'all yeah. stop you and get off of my you thought Dallas Tom, Cowboys? Tom, Tom, have a good season. You be like, okay, right when you wanted to get rid of Tom Rome, you have a good time. You be like, okay, he might be all right, you know. And then like you never really get out of that. And I'm like. And that just so what really... we're talking about today, yes. <laughs> get off my cowboys. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying we we can we got we gotta get out to me it. Yeah, we gotta get out to me it. But uh today we talking about something that I just figured out <laughs> is a trend. It's, it's, a thing. Thing. it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. I did not know this was a thing. So uh today we're talking about Club Casket. Okay, an upcoming uh up and coming rapper, Gunu. Uh, was shot and killed at the age of 25. His family decided to have his funeral at a nightclub with his body that was embalmed a present. His body was not in a casket. It was propped up on stage. It said that the promoters 
were unaware that the family was actually bringing the body. <laughs> they didn't know this was a funeral. <sighs> this Saturday night, <laughs> they having club night. Oh, Lord. And I'm the owner of the club. <laughs> and I didn't know we doing a funeral in here tonight. Like, are you So they crazy? didn't rent out the club. There were other people there just normally going to this club. Yeah, the lights going, the DJ, and, and the you band. don't know you're doing the, the bump yeah, with somebody and he's just dead. sitting on stage just looking at everybody. <laughs> so it's like weekend at Bernie's. It's just. Yeah. Yes. 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 It was weekend at weekend Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. That's what it was, but it was in the club. In the like, club. So the owners didn't see him getting wheeled in, that he didn't walk in himself? But they didn't know he was coming. No, nah, they, they didn't walk. They they bought him in. You know, like when you was little and you used to play with like He-Man, and you do like, whoop, 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 That's whoop, how they did him? Yeah, yeah they and they didn't think that the, they thought the he was drunk already. Yeah, they, they, but that what happened? Set that man right on the stage. On the stage. And start a whole performance. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Man. Can you imagine finding out this person that you've been dancing with is dead the whole time? <laughs> the fact you done been backing no. it up on them <laughs> all <laughs> day. But I'm like, okay, oh, let, let's. Let's let's use our brain for a second, please. Um, <laughs> so he got shot uh, and killed at 25, which is two years. I think it was two years after he got shot at or shot either shot at or shot another time. So he's kind of you know being on, on on living life on the edge, right? And it just finally caught up with him, uh, which is starting to become a theme in hip hop. Uh, young rappers getting shot mm -hmm. and dying. Uh, you got to stop playing the game. Uh, if you keep playing the game, eventually the game going to play you. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, use our temples a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, if you get shot and you pass, what happened to, you know, getting a casket going to the church house? And uh, being laid to rest in a respectable manner, uh, but uh, uh, all of a sudden now, it's a party. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like not, not like, you know, we say we celebrating because, you know, mama transition. I ain't talking about that kind of party. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Friday night, liquor, DJ, lights, all of this, what 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 are we doing? Is this unorthodox? It's uh, very unorthodox. I it, think it's because, like you said, the, they were living their best life all this time, and so they're like, "We're gonna go out the same way." Why would I go into a church? I haven't been to church all this time. Why would I, you know, take my friend into church to be buried or to, you know, let's party? And I don't really think it was for him. I think it was more for them because they don't want to be sad. They don't want to cry. They don't want to, you know, every movie you've seen, even probably funerals they have gone to, I don't want to be sad, so let's do something different. Let's celebrate. That's their form of celebration. Let's celebrate him on the way out. I don't want to remember my, remember my partner looking like Frankenstein. Oh, my goodness. Because he just up on stage in a, like a like a mannequin. Uh -huh. And I think they put like a blunt in his hand or oh something gosh. like that. See? And that was like making it rain on him. Right. And they had some dancers crazy. around. But that man, answers. I mean like mm. that's not I don't want that in my, you know, <laughs> seared in my brain. Yeah. Like for like they had a a, a a grandma that liked to cook. She died. And they did the same thing with her. They they had her propped up in front of a big crock pot in the you know, I don't want to. I don't want to remember Big Mama like that. And you're saying this is a thing. This is a trend that's been happening. Man, this is what they do. I'm looking at this. This man is posted in a Celtics. He's dead. I, I just, I, y'all, this is breaking news. Breaking news. I just found out this is a thing. Breaking news. We are breaking news, y'all. News flash. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just found out. That this is the, I thought this case was the only one. No. And I thought this was new. This man is posted up with an Xbox controller in his hand. What? I guess because he liked to play Xbox. Oh my God. Then there's another one of of a lady. She she got a beard with a glass with the Mary J. Blige glasses and wig on. Propped up. Sitting at the table. <laughs> Then there's another one. My man sitting here playing cards. 
Yeah, and got another man with a man on a motorcycle propped up. It's a thing, so man. So I did not know taking dead bodies, embalming them. Now, do you see that as disrespectful or just unorthodox? I th- it's definitely unorthodox. I don't think that the people that are doing this, I think, is disrespectful or they wouldn't do it. I think they... Well, even to you, do you feel like that's kind of disrespecting the moment? I don't know. I wouldn't or... do my daddy like that. <laughs> like, I ain't finna put bro, my daddy down, in his bro. old office that he retired from with an engineering, you know, <laughs> shirt and tie on with a briefcase beside him. No, like, I, you know, I'm... Yeah, no, we're going in the casket. We're going to do a eulogy. And we're going to do this, you know, the... the, the so why do you think they do that? Do you think they're doing this to avoid the church itself? Or I think it's more them than the of church. Of I okay. think it's just something they want to do. Let's go. Man, that's my partner. Well, especially if you're from Atlanta. Amen. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Al- Alana. Uh-huh. Alana. Uh-huh. Did I say it right? Yeah, she did. I'm, I'm not from here. Alana. Yeah. If, if you're from, Al- uh, from Alana... <laughs> Morissette You want to make sure your, your, your partner You know what I'm saying my, my partner You know My partner gonna go out good My partner gonna go out We gonna celebrate It's more so about the people Than about the person That's yeah. dead <sighs> So but, this is how I want to remember My man Posted up at the club With a drink in his hand And the blunt And we You know We listen to the NBA young boy I don't know if I feel comfortable In the club With a dead person Looking at me with shades on the whole night and not I blinking, just, yeah, and not, yeah, not blinking, just sitting there. He just on the stage, just looking dead at me all night. Like I ain't gonna be able to sleep that night, <laughs> just, oh. bro. Like that's crazy. You in? <sighs> so what did the club owner do when he found out? Did he allow them to finish? Obviously, or? he let them do it. He just, first of all, in my establishment. Uh, I'm gonna set some parameters. Yeah, never should uh, you have to put on the contract. No dead people. I know, right? No, That's the new. Uh, yeah, no the, embalm no, people. Yeah, no, no dead. I mean, what what you gonna do for a preacher or something? What you gonna put him in the pulpit, like you know, over the uh, uh, you know, with his hand in the air with a mic, hooping uh, me, <laughs> hoop, you know, preaching, or you know, you gonna start doing firemen crawling in the building and like, like, where is this going? Like really, where, where where is this going? Like, oh man, old girl got the Mary J. Blige glasses. Y'all got, y'all got to see this. She got the Mary J. glasses, the Mary J. wig with the cup with the Michelob sitting right there on, the, on on the on the table. I'm like, like like the the the, the theatrics. And this has been a thing, man. It's been. A thing I like just this. found this out probably about five years ago. Maybe it was a stripper. Not and they pole. had a um, um, bombed no. on the pole. Not a dead stripper, no. A bombed on the pole. The, the string, everything. The string in it, the, everything. Coming coming down the pole. Now imagine, I don't know what the what, what their title is, but the person that embalms. What are they thinking? Like, they've been doing <laughs> man. man in they the casket all a this time. Yep. On a dead person. <laughs> yeah. In a position. And all. Yeah. yeah, and then you had to bend them over and yeah. like... <laughs> Like get them set for, yeah. Cause because before they hard. Nah, that's nah. nah yeah. Y'all pay me to do that. No, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. I'm sure I they pay bomb. extra for I that. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I'm. Sh- I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh my! I'm just trying to imagine in my brain. Like I went to school to do this, and now I'm putting you in a position on the pole, or yeah. you cooking over a pot, or uh, you playing man. You, you playing pool. pool. You shooting pool. Man, mid shot on eight balls yeah. just like this stuff. This is how I'm embalming now. Yeah, like, man. Man, Jesus be like, <laughs> Jesus what? just be like, man, just let the dead bury the dead. for this. <laughs> what are they like, doing? Just let the dead bury the dead. I'm is done with y'all. What, that's what that scripture means? Yeah, let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> y'all, I'm done with y'all. Like, for real. Like, come on, man. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know where this is going. Um, to my family, everybody out there, uh, when the, whenever the day come, uh, if it ever come, please do do not uh, handle me in this type of manner. He don't need to be on a golf course. Yeah, <laughs> mid shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go, right there. <laughs> mid shot. Shit got me yeah. like, nope, we ain't doing it. No, I ain't worried about it. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> We're not gonna do it. 
<laughs> that's funny. No way. Mm-mm. But man, that's like I guess that's where it's at now. Like man, I, I guess that's where it's at. Like whatever you like to do, whatever your thing was, you just we just gonna put you in that, embalm you and put you in that. Yeah. I mean, got the clothes on him, got all the way down to the socks, bro. And my man had the one that playing the uh, Xbox. He got the flip flops on with uh, the uh, Celtic socks oh, God. with a Celtics jersey. I'm like. I had to say it's creative. It's, it's creative, else, but this is. It's like a wax museum, but it's we're crazy. real people. Uh, it's what it is. It's, cra- it's, it's different. Oh, man, they got a box of y'all. The man got his gloves on no. with his warm-ups. No. Like, bro, like, this is for real. So he don't got no shirt on? I mean, he got that, like, when you come in the oh, ring okay, with, like the, when with, you the, got with your, the hood with on. The yeah. Oh. And but but, but that's, that's not bad, though, because that's, you know, I'm going to put on my robe. And, and tell, tell the story. How that's a, that's a stretch. I made it over. That's a stretch, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know it was that robe. <laughs> that boxer robe. But yeah, I didn't know the robe said Everlast, but <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Everlast into Everlasting, everlasting Life. life. Oh, okay, I got it. That yeah. makes sense. Everlasting oh, Life. I'm everlasting. Everlasting. Oh. Okay, I got it. But oh, yeah, gosh. man, we, 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 I think, uh, wow, I don't know what our stance would be. There, I don't think it is. It's just creative. For instance, I mean, we all know. Now, uh, I would like to know. We all know a certain rapper mm-hmm. that we all know, mm-hmm. and his mother passed away, and he celebrated her, not by propping her up or anything, but he celebrated her as if he was performing. He's a hip-hop artist, gospel artist, and he did that at her funeral, and I thought that was amazing. He got so much grief mm-hmm. for that from the church he got but he got a lot of grief mm-hmm. yeah. uh-huh. a lot of grief but yeah. he was celebrating his mom so i think however you want to celebrate is is what you do now my question do they still have a funeral after this or like is they this probably, the funeral i like, think that's the funeral and then they bury him right oh, that's the that, whole that, point oh, kind of like the after because there was another rapper can you look that up that uh, we GCS? know big, find out passed. if they still do a funeral after they do they wax museum thing <laughs> uh, you know what Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> but from what we've seen, that's kind of like the after party of the funeral. Because like I said, this other rapper, very well known in this area, passed some years ago. And after his funeral, they took him by Magic City. Oh, I remember. Now, they ain't took yeah. him out. They ain't took him they out and took him by. in. But they took him by. So it could have been an after the service type thing. We had a service. All right, now let's take my man to the club and prop him up. The look on your face, because I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. Bruh, I wish I would have been prepared for this. I just found out. Like I said, this is breaking news. I, I thought this was the first one. This is why we're talking about it. I was like, oh, hey, y'all, guess what I just saw? <laughs> I just saw a guy propped up in the, and just come to find out it's everybody's insane. already doing this. Already. There's strippers. Yeah. There's boxers. There's, there's, there's uh, drummers. Pool tape play, pool players. Okay. You're giving us voice again. <laughs> what is this? Ah. Uh, extreme embalming. That's what it's called. Embalming. Extreme embalming. So this practice uh-huh. is called extreme embalming. For the people who wouldn't uh, be seen dead in a boring old coffin. Boring old Jesus. coffin. The only way to go out in style is to get pumped full of Pause. embalming fluid. Right. And posed up. Like a wax work at your own funeral. So I guess this is the funeral. Like, yeah. so, but don't they get hard? Yeah. When they feel right, they get hard. So, like, I, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like KJ would have said pause right there. So, <clears throat> okay, uh, Pastor Rich, bro, we're going to have Like, but, we used to have as many pauses <laughs> on the show. <laughs> but I'm, 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 Thank you. Seriously though, so after they done pump them up and they all hard, how do they? How you get yeah. them in a casket? Exactly. Or how you get them in the ground? <laughs> they pump them up. Because if he if he's standing fully erect, how you gonna get him? Yeah, I think legally you have to be in a casket. They can't just put you in the ground. They can't just put you in the ground yeah. standing up. No, they got to put you. Yeah, you have to be in a casket. 
Yeah. So yeah, they might have to break his arms. It might not be a casket. It might be like a box or something. Like they ain't finna spend the casket for the funeral. Uh, Put them in a cardboard box. Ain't nobody five thousand dollars. A UPS box. I mean, some kind of you ain't gonna spend thousands of dollars, and you didn't have a funeral for a casket. I think they're just gonna put you in the ground. Cause like, think about the dude who bent it over in the pool shot. Like, how would you get him? I don't if he's already bent over it. hard, how would you get him in the? I don't even want to think about what? it. <laughs> just keep your hand right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just bent over hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! This See, is corpses crazy. are forced into position by having their feet. Nailed to the floor. Wow. Oh my gracious. Poles erected behind their necks and even their limbs prized apart. Prized apart. Prized apart. I don't know. The practice has been in the spotlight after footage circulating online oh, appears to show uh, mourners raving alongside the rapper Gunu uh, at his funeral. Man. Yeah, this is a wax museum, bro. Yeah. So they nail them to the floor. Yeah, this is a real life wax museum. That's what this is. That's crazy. This is, uh, and that and that is the funeral because the coffins are now boring. Wow. But how do they go in the ground? Is the thing though. You nail them to the ground because you can't just put them in the ground. Just put they, they gotta no, put you, them in something. In something, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, they might cremate. That's oh, yeah, that too. yeah. Okay, I don't want to talk about um, this no more. How about that? <laughs> yeah, like like I said, Jesus was the only one that needed to be nailed anywhere. And yeah, they nailed him to the. He nailed him to the. He nailed him to the. My goodness! <laughs> Stretched him wide. Hey, Come on, him high. Hung his head. That's not what they <laughs> meant, folks. That's not what they meant. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's no right. But yeah. Uh, Mm. We okay. gotta do better. Yeah, hey amen. Can we? Yeah, oh. we gotta do better. Yeah, because that's it's like we're just baffled. Yeah, like I don't even know what to say. Like I'm still in shock of what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing on the spot. Oh, so they've been doing this for a long time. It just ain't came over here. The guy said it's yeah. been since the Victorian Victorian era, which is what that's the 14, 1200s, 1400s, something like that. Take family portraits with the dead. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Oh, nah. This bro. or that. Nah. All right. Soda yeah. edition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's 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 not happening. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's not happening. When 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 life is gone, it's gone. We're celebrating the transition. You you you've already transitioned. You're no longer here. Mm -hmm. uh, your 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 soul has is has left your body. There's a disconnect, and when your soul has left your body, you are no longer there. There's no pictures to take. There's no, uh, all the memories happen in life. I don't need no memories, you know, a, a death memory. I need, I need a memory of you laughing. I need a memory of me hugging you, holding your hand when you have life. Yeah. Uh, and, and this might be something where people, you know, didn't get to express it during life. Yeah. So you got to express, you know, get all your moments in while you can. And then you go, oh, man, you didn't go. Let me have my moment now. Let me nail you to the floor and have a moment, you know, now and put a, you know, pole in your back. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> they did James Brown like that? The Godfather of Soul? Oh, okay. Can we please move on? So you may tell me they put Bruce Lee in a karate move for his funeral. Man. You're going to put Will Smith like this. In a, in a can we please move on? I'm just asking nicely if we can. You, you can have a seat. Go, Will Smith like this. Go, go have a seat. Thank you. Oh, All God. right. This is that this soda is that. edition. All right. Yay. We're moving on. This is the this or that soda edition. So go ahead, uh, messenger. What's oh, number one? Oh, man. This is that. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. I really Pepsi. don't like cola, but I'll, I'm I'll go take Pepsi. it both at one time. Huh? Hmm? You say you took what? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Like nothing. Cocaine and Pepsi. Okay. I can't say really that. <laughs> All right. Say that. <laughs> give me, give me, give me Pepsi. I really don't okay. like Coke. Okay. Yeah, right. If they cold though, if they cold, both of them, 
It's hard to differentiate. No, they taste different. Yeah. Pepsi don't taste the same. It's Coke. You like Coke better? Yeah. Well, like I Coke? grew up on Coke. We that's all we drank. Coke. Oh, well. I'll give Pepsi an edge. All right. Yeah, I like that. I'll give Pepsi an edge. Uh, mellow Yellow or Mountain Dew? I actually like Mellow Yellow. Definitely Mountain Dew. Better Mountain than Dew. Mountain Dew. What? I, I'm weird. Mellow like, Yellow, you get that from like the corner store. I know. For like a quarter. I know. That's like a knockoff Mountain I had a Mellow Mountain Yellow Dew. in a long like it. time. It's in my refrigerator right now. Mellow for Yellow? Real? Yes. Oh, my God. A two liter, yes. I oh. haven't seen <laughs> Mellow Yellow. No, 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 no. Where did you get that from? Where did I get it from? Gas station, yeah, they got them. Gas station, you ain't getting it from no no. No, they got them at the store. Yeah, Mellow Matter Yellow. Matter of fact, I got it at Kroger because it was on sale. Kroger got them. Yellow. I ain't seen yeah. a Mellow Yellow. No, 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 no. Give me Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew all yeah, day. I, Mountain and if you Dew. wanna, you wanna, you, you wanna throw it extra. Give me the Mountain Dew Code Red. See, I can't. I don't like the different. The purple one and the red one and of Mountain Dew. The it gotta red. be like straight red. regular. The cold red got that like a strawberry like it, I like I like that. See you. I'll do the blue one. That blue one is nasty. You probably like Fanta see. though, huh? A Fanta. Oh, I love Fanta. See that's I don't why. Like Fanta. See, my, my my wife like Fanta. I can't drink no. Don't you want a Fanta? Fanta. You don't like Fanta? <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> no. Nah. So nah. what's your what's your your brand crush? I do a crush. We got a list. I do, list. I do an orange on crush. Uh, I do an orange crush or like a peach crush. Now, I like Crush over get. Fanta because yeah. Crush got more flavor, better. But yeah, yeah. You hush. Fago. <laughs> Fago. That's great value, right there. Yeah, let's go. Fago. Uh, grape or orange soda? Grape tastes weird. Orange. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Lovey likes grape. I don't understand why, but it, it great because it's, it's not really grape. I don't know what it is. It's not grape. Uh, peach soda or pineapple? Definitely soda. peach. Peach. Y'all peach, that crushed peach, peach is now. good. Crushed peach is crushed real peach is good. good. Yeah. But I like pineapple What's the too. name of it? I like I like Sunkiss. <sighs> pi- oh, Sunkiss is good too. Sunkiss is all right. Sunkiss pineapple is good. Yeah, but I have to go peach. You can't beat a crushed peach. peach. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, root beer or cream soda? Root beer. Root beer. And I make my. If own. I had to choose, it'd be root beer. I like to do malts or. What's it called? Floats. Floats. A float, yeah. Like a malt. I like those. <laughs> like yeah, a malt. I like malt. I Not like that malt. type of malt, you goofy. <laughs> Not like, that I type. Malt. I was like, <laughs> some malt liquor. <laughs> Not <laughs> malt liquor. <laughs> some yeah, malt liquor. I know. I like to do malt. So I was like, <laughs> oh, Lord. They just took the root off and just let the beer out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, root beer, not beer. A single malt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. I, I, I was like, why don't y'all go there? Okay, root beer. All right, uh, All right. Mr. Pib or Dr. Pepper? Neither. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? I do Dr. Pepper. Pepper. If I had to, it'd be Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Pib Dr. is Pepper weird. Be busting, man. I don't even know what flavor. What is that? Mr. Pib? Yeah. It's like a Dr. Pepper. Nah, it's, like, it's, it's, like, it's, a, it's coking. It's coking. It's from another root called Pibulosis. Next, number seven. Look. Number Bruh, seven. Look it up. Okay. <laughs> We're not looking it up because it's not there. <laughs> Number right. seven. Uh, Sprite or Sierra Miss? Sprite. Give me Sierra Miss. I like McDonald's Sprite because no. it's super strong. If you drink McDonald's Sprite, you will drink acid. Well, you will Sierra drink Mist. a battery's acid. I don't know drink. why it's so strong at McDonald's, but it is. Yeah, give me Sierra Miss. Sierra Miss. Listen, I know Sierra's Miss. <laughs> Sierra's Miss, right? Sierra's <laughs> Miss. That sound like a, yeah. a soap opera. Yeah. Sierra's Miss. All yeah, right. give me, give me Sierra Miss. It used to be Sprite, but I've been on that Sierra Miss lately. Sprite? No, yeah. man. Over Sprite. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Sprite is it, bro? Yeah. I, I still like Sprite. Ain't ain't nothing. Ain't like I don't like it. It's just that Sierra Miss, just a little bit more lemon limeish to me. That's true. Seven up too. Seven up, yeah, but that's weird because I still like Sprite more than Seven Up. I don't know when the last time I drank a Seven Up. Oh, you can't probably find it not everywhere. in this decade. In a decade, yeah, oh, okay. it's possible. Even more so for Mellow Mellow Yellow. <laughs> yellow, Mellow Yellow. I ain't drunk a Mellow Yellow. <laughs> yeah, I had a Mellow Yellow in like <laughs> since, since high school, kid, middle bro. school. Yeah, I yeah. think Seven Ups went away with Seven Elevens. They just all the Sevens just the Sevens just all, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, cherry Coke or Cherry Vanilla Coke? Cherry Coke. I don't cherry like vanilla. Either one, Keep that vanilla. Uh, I like that. I try the vanilla. Coke. I don't want no cream in the middle of my cherry and Coke. 
Give me the vanilla. Just, cher- <laughs> just cherry coke, bro. Take the vanilla. <laughs> Take the vanilla out. <laughs> give me the cherry vanilla, man. It, no, nah, man. And give it an extra sweetener. Because, you know, I, I need... Well, I like sweet, so... Well, you deliver it. You deliver it. Yeah. I ain't mean. Uh, ginger ale is 7-Up. I like ginger, ginger ale. ale. Yeah. My friend... Regular ginger ale? My yeah. Friend, I can't it gotta be Seagram's. With ginger ale. Gotta be Seagram's, Seagram's, though. I don't like ginger ale. Really? Yeah, that's strong. That's the strongest or, red rock. Or ginger beer. Ginger beer. My wife has a refrigerator full of ginger beer, Never had extra ginger strong. Beer. Never had. What is that? Ginger beer? It's like ginger ale, but on steroids. And when you, when you when you drink it, throat is. I'm talking about. It's a good burn. It's a smooth burn though. But it's like six. What does it taste like? It's, it tastes like ginger ale, like a strong, strong ginger ale. It has a stronger taste of ginger in it. Uh, and and like, the and the health qualities are a little bit I can better because of so much presence of ginger, ginger in it. Yep. Yeah, I don't do ginger. But I'll nah, refrigerate right now it's full of ginger ale. Was it, is it raspberry? Yeah, that's good ale? too. Raspberry? I would drink nah, that's one of my favorites. That's good. You can't find that everywhere. But yeah. brand of ginger ale though. Seagram's. Seagram's, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, that, I, what's the other brand? I don't Canada, yeah, regular Canada ginger ale. I can't Canada Canada dry, no. All the time I drink ginger ale regular is when uh, you feeling sick or whatever. I don't yeah. know what it do, but my wife always said, "Get some ginger ale. Get some ginger ale. <laughs> like ginger ale just fixes everything." Like, man, I, I have a runny nose. She'd be like, "Get some ginger ale." <laughs> I just <laughs> be like, I sprain my ankle. Get a ginger get, get, ale. Yeah, but, but ginger ale. That's, that's just in I'm gonna tell you something with black folks and remedy. Come on, <laughs> whatever they remedy. Is it's the remedy for, for everything. everything Go there. When I was a kid, my grandmama remedy was Vicks vapor rub. Yes, <laughs> Vicks was everything. If if you stopped up, put it on your nose, rub it on your stomach. What about this, butter? Yeah. What about butter? Eat it, huh? Butter. Butter what? Put it on the burn. Butter on the burn. You yeah. do that? Yeah. It you don't get a burn. Rub some butter on it. The doctors say that's the exact opposite of what you should do. Never knew put that. Put butter on, on a, a burn. burn. Butter. In our house, I've ever. never heard that before <laughs> yes. in my life. Put you just have a cooked it. burn. You get a burn, put some butter on it. Yep. Cold butter, just put yep. it on Rub yeah. the butter all over it. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. told you to do that. Yeah. Yep. Nat told my us grandma. they did it. Rub butter on you. You got a burn? Come here. Let me see your butter. hand. Mm-hmm. Butter. Yep. I never heard yeah, that. Yeah, man. That's very country, but yes. Butter it right down. Yep. Nah, we had, and then the other one was some grandma was Vic. My parents was more NyQuil. Like oh. we'll just, just it, y'all up. Yeah, just go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, just a hush y'all up. Yeah, yeah. By the time you wake up, whatever's wrong with you gonna be fixed. Listen. That was it. Just drink this night. But that you. was our go to family remedy. Nap. Go, go to, to bed. sleep. Go yeah. take a nap. Yeah, yeah, go take a nap. They yeah. bought me a a boxing bag, a heavy bag. I decided that I wanna swing on the heavy bag. Mm. So I'm in the backyard, I take off full speed run, jump on the bag and swing it. Uh. The rope pop. Boom! Hit my head on the concrete of the driveway. Mm. Woke up. I was in the bed. I was in the. I was in the bed. He just just need a nap. And my grandma was rubbing my chest. My grandma was rubbing my chest, praying everything was gonna take a nap. I ripped my nose off one time. You did what? Ripped my nose off. I was jumping off the. You remember right at the bike? I want to hear this. We had the uh, the scooter. You put one foot on it, and you kind of scoot, and it stands up. So I was jumping off the porch with it. And the third jump, I let my front wheel hit first instead of my back wheel. And it flipped me. <laughs> when it flipped me, it ripped my nose from my lip. Ugh. So my oh nose my was God. flipped up like this. And then my, my lip was ripped up. And I didn't know. I was going up to do my fourth jump. I was getting ready to do my you fourth jump. You didn't even jump, feel it. But I felt something dripping. And then I saw it, and I ran down to the house. Grandma grabbed my nose, folded it back down. Put some super glue right there. It told me to go to bed. Well, That's what they do at the hospital. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lady Rich glued my, 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 my joint right here. Uh, I got elbowed. I was in the paint. Dude was taller than me. He came down with the rebound and elbowed me right here and split it. I went home. Lady Rich glued it right back together. Close it up. Glued it together. <laughs> and then she told me, go take a nap. <laughs> Praise God for for our sponsors glue. So if you anybody got a cut out there, if you are dealing with a gash, a slice, oh my a cut God. of any kind, you do not need a band-aid. You don't need stitches. You don't need you don't need none of that. 
Just come up in the free life. Oh my god! In, in the booth, <laughs> and we gonna give you some glue, <laughs> and we gonna glue you back together. Oh my god! And then you gonna take a nap. Bro. Listen, but the but I I cut my the tip of my finger off. Right? Can, do you have any? Bro, how there? many times? I mean, just stop, bro. Dude, that was, but that was like a, a year or so ago. So I'm in my my neighbor. I'm in my my yard. I'm doing my bushes, and I was doing it with one hand. And I was looking over, kind of like edging, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you get your edge. And I was edging, and I underestimated the weight of it, and it swung. Went straight through my glove, through my finger. So we get to the hospital, buddy stitching it up. And Lady Rich said, tell my husband about glue. Because he had an accident, he cut up. And, I, and the doctor was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We, we use glue. It's just a different type of glue. But, yeah, we use glue. Oh, gee whiz. So they just glue it back. But let me ask you about glue, because I want to see the era that I'm potting with. Amen. Okay. okay. What was the favorite thing to do with that oh, glue right yeah. there? Make the balls. Oh, but yeah, put it on your head and make the ball. Yeah. 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 I don't know <laughs> what the, the I don't know what the yeah. thing about that was, but yeah, I don't I don't know why. Yeah, we did that. I don't know and if we just bored the balls. class or what yeah. the and yeah. put it on, and then you know, just scratch it off. And then we try to peel the whole thing off and see if your whole hand yes. breaks. Yeah, and yes. yes. see how long you can peel it. Yeah, who got the biggest piece without breaking it yeah. off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, we this did episode that. So it's sponsored but by. It, they get to be on their phones these days. Yeah, they don't do that kind of fun stuff anymore. Yeah, that's what's wrong with the kids today. You know what? One of the main things is I'm gonna show my age, and I'm gonna say it. Yeah. You know what the problem is? They ain't never drunk out of water hose. That's the problem. Bro. They ain't never had they water, water hose water. Bro, water. All hose, the vitamins water. and minerals in there, Bro, too. They, yes. they, they ain't never had to go to the water hose and wait 15 seconds for that thing to get cold. <laughs> Come on. Because the, the initial water hose is hot, is hot yes. because the sun been beaming down on the water These hose. These are facts. But you put your lip on some hot water. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I did it. Get up there 15 seconds because the cold water got to cool the hose off first. Yes. So it's, it's hot water in there. But then there's water that come behind it that's cool, but it's get warmed up going through a hot uh, Them kids are sitting there hose. like, what? So, yeah. That's they, disgusting. They never heard this. They, that, that enough, bro. they never heard this statement right here. If you come in, you're staying in. Yep. Yeah. They never heard that Or before. beat the lights in. Beat the street yeah. lights in. They street lights on. They outside now. Yeah. No. We yeah, stay outside. That, bro. Yeah. From the time you wake up and close settle. my door, yeah. you know, you, you, you're warming up the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. All that. Yeah. Bro. Yep. I'm like, bro, yeah. They, they on the Oculus this uh, <laughs> inside. They, yeah, yeah. yeah, inside, inside. Uh, they, they they outside in the in the VR in the virtual reality inside the house. I'm like, bro, this is, this, this is not this this not it. Don't yeah. want to go outside. Yeah, this, this, they this, never play high and go see. I know. They, they don't never know play they, freeze. They, they don't know what red light green light is. Oh. Come on here. Oh. I don't think they do that no more. No, I've never seen a kid. They don't, don't do red light. Huh? Yeah, they don't do red light green light no more. No. Or jump rope. Do y'all still do that? Y'all jump rope, double dutch, all double dutching, and you got to wait for the right time. Yeah, to, to hopscotch. Jump in. Oh, that was so Hop much fun. Scotch. Man, come on, oh, gosh, bro. That was fun. I mean, you talking about bro? Some good, some some good childhood stuff to yeah. do, bro. Yeah. And we so and we made we made up games. Yeah. yeah. Like let's, we made up games. Let's, like, <laughs> let's play throw the rock. Let's play throw the rock. Throw the rock. See, we could throw the rock. The punch. Man, we used to play uh uh the, the bank. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, Somebody yeah. be uh, mm -hmm. the, the bank teller. We get the leaves. That was the money. <laughs> like, here you go. <laughs> oh Deposit my, my yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. We did so that. the leaves was money. Bro, we just, you just make up games mm -hmm. on the spot. And those games were the best games. And you know why? Because we only had five channels at home. Yeah. You had and to take the, the TV and go click, click, click. Or yeah. you had to click, put click, the click. fork in there because the knob broke. So you got to turn it with the fork or that some pliers. Oh, yeah. Or the pliers. Yeah. And then the antenna already broke off. So you got to get the wire hanger so you can even get reception. Yeah, I don't know none of yeah, that. Yeah, but, none of that. It, it, but our, our cartoons only came on a certain time. Saturday. Today, so. Saturday morning cartoons was yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yep. And they can watch them on demand on YouTube. Yeah, I'm like, you but y'all just don't know. I showed my, my son, like, it really never dawned on me. I showed him a, 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 a phone, a household phone. He didn't know what it was. <laughs> I was like, wow. I said, you don't know what it is? He said, uh-uh. I said, you don't know what this is? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yep. And Lovey, I would think I'm like, man, Lovey I didn't know seen what a, VH, a, a VHS tape was. She called it a box CD. <laughs> oh my God. Who I said that love? Lovey, when she was little, she didn't know what a VHS tape was. 
But she knew that if you put it in the thing, it'll show a movie. So she called it a box CD or box DVD. DVD. Oh my oh goodness. My God. Oh wow. Have y'all had y'all had a rotary phone in y'all house? Yeah. We yeah. got a. Yeah. yeah. And it go back around. Yep. Yeah. Man. Yeah, to make a call. Yeah. And you and, have to memorize everybody. And if number. you mess up, you got to hang up and start, and yeah. start all of it. Bruh. Mm-hmm. No call my first, my first, uh, 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 our first cordless phone was just a phone with a 30 foot wire. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and you drag all the way down the hall. <laughs> or outside. Your room. But yep. when you got that, you was like, bro, I can go anywhere now. <laughs> before you had to just stay in the dining room and just talk yep. like this. Yep. But you got that 30 foot, like, oh, boy, I'm all the way in the room. Boy, yeah, what's up, bro? Or outside. Man. Yeah. yeah. Listen. That, yeah. Was, that, that was the first one, bro. My niece. Thought something was wrong with our house phone. And she was like, I said, we use the phone. What's wrong with it? She said, I don't know. It's just making this noise. Every time I pick don't it up, it's making tone. this noise. She didn't wow. know the dial tone. I got it. I'm like, what is it? Oh, my God. Because they don't, they don't know. Yeah. Wow. They don't know. The phone out of order. That. <laughs> the phone out of order. Yeah, it don't work. It's making a noise. I don't know what that is. It's called a dial tone. These kids, Amazing. they just they don't know. And they know that, that, that's crazy. They, they don't they, know they, about walking down the street and randomly sticking your finger in the payphone thing to see if somebody left yes. a card in there. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know yes. about that. Yes. But my daughter didn't even know what a payphone was. I was like, you don't know what it is? And my daughter, she's a teenager now. So I'm like, yep. But That's it was how much that when, 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 over Yeah. Years. But I'm like, man, we 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 far away from advance over a um, small <clears throat> amount of time. Yeah, we're far away from what we did, grew up in to yeah. the point where they got completely disconnected Even from. Even a floppy disk, they don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah. floppy yeah, we disk. Thought that but was the thing. Thing. but this, this is my thing. I wasn't part of my parents' era, but I still know their stuff. Yeah. Right. I know what a Betamax is. Mm-hmm. A track, yeah, I know what A track is, mm-hmm. but I, I like it wasn't mine, but I knew what it was. Right, yeah. they don't even know what it is. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> like, okay, that's different. You don't even know what a payphone is. Like yeah. this ain't the 1800s. Like <laughs> no, you making me think I'm like 70. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we talking about about a decade and a half ago, the last payphone went out, bro. Like you you make me feel like I'm 80 years old. Yeah, they don't oh, know what an encyclopedia is. They're Bruh. so used to Google. They're like, no, we had to go through a set of a set of books what, and uh, find out all of our information. They don't know what a car catalog is. A car catalog. You don't know what a car catalog is. You want to find that book? Y'all just search Google and stuff come up. No, I we do had to go to that them drawers <laughs> and look. Okay, L uh, J yep. K L M. Okay, there it is. Let me yep. slide this up and flip through that car the catalog and then yes. go find a book. Mm-hmm. No, I do better than that. They don't know what a Sears catalog is. Oh, wow. Oh, As, God. Where you order your clothes from one book. That's all you had. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Man, bro. It's crazy. They don't know the struggle, bro. The struggle. They don't, they don't know what the struggle, bro. But I just pray some kind of way all this technology and advancement and speed of everything does not allow us to f- lose our feel on just... Life, reality, reality yeah. Yeah. humanity. I'm, uh, I'm all for technology, but some stuff with the virtual reality stuff kind of scare me because uh, my 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 uh, my boys, my uh, my brother got the VR. He brought it over there and let him play with it for like two days. They didn't come out of it. Hmm. They was in it until it was time to eat. And then they were still trying to stay inside of it <laughs> and eat with the, with the things on their hand. I'm like, are you eating inside the VR? Is there food going? Like, what are you doing? Like, they didn't want to come out. Were and I'm they, like, like, was that, is that how that works? You can eat and see yourself eating? No, nah, I, I don't know. But, but my thing is, I don't want the advancements to get you out of touch. And, and, and God kind of showed me this, is that the speed of technology can sometimes push you faster than God is moving you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. God is not going to speed up the way technology speeds up. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not with and so it makes you cars it, at all. It, this is making me more impatient. Right. Uh, I can go to the microwave, warm something up. I can do this. Boom, woo. I don't have to go to Georgia Power. I can just go to my app. Boom, boom. And so all of this is speeding me up and it's making me more diff- making it more difficult to wait and be patient yeah, yeah, yeah. with God because God is not speeding up. So we have to be careful to not allow technology to work against our faith mm. and be aware of that mm. because 
the world is moving faster. Mm. And so with that, I want to make sure that it's intact with the next generation so that their experience with God would not be overtaken with technology. Yeah. Yes. Man, that's, that was Dr. Kaiser. Doctor. <laughs> that was Dr. Soon Kaiser's. to be doctor, yes. Oh, yeah, man. Soon to be doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to doctor. Uh, yeah. Man, got an uh, uh, honorary doctorate Yay. coming. Yay. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 y'all are soon. That's this week. The next weekend. This weekend. Because it's Monday. Okay, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. That's this week. Yeah. My bad, my bad, yeah. Yes. Man, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's this week. Yeah, This. so this Saturday, I'll be receiving an honorary doctorate. It's amazing. Degree. Doctor. Yeah, so you know, y'all see me this time next week. <laughs> it gonna be doctor. Yeah. I'm gonna be gluing everybody up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I'm gluing everybody up. <laughs> I'm a doctor, I'm y'all. Not that type of doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing the, I'm bringing the, <laughs> I'm I'm bringing glue and butter next week. <laughs> <laughs> and NyQuil. Yeah, and NyQuil. I'm going to have all that stuff up here. Y'all putting everybody, everybody back together. together. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to the uh, Ingles. Oh, yeah. Don't let you talk about it. Cronuts is what we call them. I'm bringing them. We I don't know if I like the name of it. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's croissant and donuts mixed together. <laughs> croissant donuts. I'm bringing them. We gonna eat them. Say that. Say croissant donuts. Right. Don't say the crow nuts. Croissant nuts. <laughs> like I'm eating bird nuts. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>